Okay, so welcome everybody. This is uh, the welcome lecture for IO Psychology, Industrial Organizational Psychology, Psych 253 Web for the spring of 2017. Welcome to the class. I'm Dr. Ashton, your professor. This video is for students who are thinking about taking this online course or students who are going to take this course. Uh, if you're thinking about taking the course, this is a good video to uh, watch to get a good feel for the course. If you're taking uh, the course, this will be an overview like uh, the lecture the professor gives the first day of class where they go over the class. And uh, so the lecture contents, introduction to me, taking an online course, and introduction to this course. And off on the right is Luna, my new cat. I've had her since end of October. And so introdu introduction to me. Uh, I have a PhD in social psychology. Uh, back in grad school, I worked on the fundamental attribution error, stigma of mental illness, and gender of social support. Uh, so very traditional social psychology uh, research I've had. Uh, a lot of non-academic, uh, you know, work experience, especially for a PhD. Uh, this is where I get a lot of my experience for this course. I was the ex executive director of a community leadership training nonprofit for several years. And for a couple years, I was the associate director of a community mental health center. I've been at York since 2013. I teach social psych research methods. IO psych, uh, consumer behavior, and organizational behavior. So the business students, uh, you get to know me after a while. Uh, current research I'm doing, uh, my most recent publication was a book chapter, Are You a Lebowski Achiever? Uh, the fans of the movie The Big Lebowski, Jungian Synchronicity and the Iraq War. And another Jungian paper is coming out, uh, you know, in the next couple of months or so, uh, what would Hermes do? A Jungian perspective on the trickster. And uh, currently, uh, my research is I'm looking at the factor structure and psychometrics of the sense of community uh, scale, psychological sense of community scale. And I'm looking at that as it works in two media fandoms, the Lebowskis and the Trekkies. And that's part of my larger research uh, you know, program on fandoms and trust in government, whether or not the content of the fandom, that is being a Lebowski or being a Trekkie, has anything to do with your real life attitudes about government or other important things. And then another uh, you know, area of research is uh, you know, attributions about uh, you know, injury and uh, how that's affected by the intention of the transgressor and also the intention of the victim. And that's related to my, my long-term research interest in uh, sexual assault. And I'm interested in applying those concepts to sexual assault. So that's a, a little bit about me. Uh, what about taking an online course? Well, you need to ask yourself a couple questions. First, have you ever taken a 100% online course before? This is a web, web course, which means there is no in-person content. Uh, there is, it's not a hybrid. We don't meet any time in person. It's all online. So have you ever taken an all online course before? Uh, have you taken a hybrid course before? And what did you feel about the hybrid course? Did you like it? Uh, was it easy? Uh, or if you haven't done that, uh, were there Blackboard assignments uh, in the in-person courses you've taken? Are, were those easy to understand and easy to do? Did you actually consider them maybe fun? And then a final question is, do you work well by yourself? That is, uh, are you the type of student who can go off by themselves and tackle an area of reading and prepare easily for an assignment or an exam? And if you answered no to those above questions, then this may be a difficult class for you. I know that a lot of people are in this class because of their schedules, uh, that they need to graduate and they need uh, this course 
this semester. Uh, but uh, if you don't really get along well with online courses, you may want to rethink whether or not you want to be in this course. Uh, so what about taking an online course? Uh, you need a couple things to successfully or be in a good shot to successfully take an online course. First off, you need a computer. Uh, you need to have a good computer uh, that runs fast, that isn't uh, you know, throwing up errors and shutting down every so often. Uh, and you need to have good internet, broadband internet. Uh, there's going to be a lot of videos that you're going to see. And so you're going to have to be able to stream them and watch them. Uh, and hopefully by now you know what we're talking about. And so if you can watch uh, YouTube videos online and there's no problem with that, then uh, you're in good shape in terms of equipment. Uh, you need to have a place to study. Uh, you know, a place where your computer is in a quiet place or in your place. A lot of students uh, try to get through online courses uh, by using computers in uh, coffee shops and at, on campus, and those are really not good places. Or, you know, the family computer is next to the TV in the living room. Those are really not good places. Uh, this is going to be a whole course online, so you need to have uh, that place to work. And finally, uh, you need to have study skills. Uh, study skills uh, will allow you to work on your own because this is an online course. You're going to be working independently. Uh, I'm not going to be there twice a week to tell you what to do. And so uh, you need to be able to uh, figure out what to do and then make yourself do it. And so you need those uh, Luna is doing the one bad thing that she does, which is scratch the carpet, the oriental carpet. Wonderful cat otherwise, except for that. Had to chase her away. Uh, so back to study skills. So uh, you need uh, to be able to uh, you know, understand what you need to do and be able to get that done in a timely manner. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the course. IO psychology is psychology applied to work. So anything about the workplace uh, applied to psychology. Uh... Okay, so now let's talk about the course. IO psychology is psychology applied to work. Anything about the workplace, if you look at it from a psychological perspective, that's IO psychology. Uh, this course is a survey of a field of the field. Uh, but we will be paying special attention to the basic skills and knowledge of an I.O. psychologist, mainly testing and selection. Uh, about 90% of the working I.O. psychologists I know, the work that they do is based on testing and job selection. And so we will be uh, visiting that early in the course and focusing on that uh, in a couple assignments. And business majors are going to see that we have several topics similar to topics in business courses. And that's going to be true. A lot of the terms, a lot of the topics are going to be exactly the same for business courses, but we're going to be approaching those topics from a research emphasis, an experimental psychological research emphasis, which is radically different than a business emphasis. Okay, so uh, the assignments that we have, this is, in a way, uh, this is a generally light course, uh, uh, a little bit light, a little bit average uh, for an online course. Uh, so we're going to have a couple textbook quizzes, and these are going to be over about, uh, you know, three uh, chapters each, and there'll be about 15 multiple choice questions from each chapter. Uh, and uh, the way we do these online is that the exam will be online and you'll have 90 minutes to do the 40 question test and you'll have a three day period in order to do that test. Also, we're going to have biweekly uh, webinars. Uh, it's really important to have a chance for students to be able to ask me questions. And so we're going to use uh, Blackboard Collaborate to do this. It's a webinar where 
Uh, we all get on at the same time, or we try to. And uh, you get to ask me questions, we get to talk about assignments, and students generally feel this is pretty helpful. Uh, I'm going to try to find a time uh, during the week where most of the class can get online at that time. And I know that I'm not going to find the perfect time and some people are going to be at work or they're going to be in class. Uh, these are uh, recorded and you can watch the videos and you can do an alternative assignment uh, to get attendance credit if you can't be there uh, live. Uh, early on in the semester, you're going to be doing a uh, psychological methods feedback quiz. I'm going to have five videos about psychological research methods. Uh, these are basic things from IO Psych that you should remember or they should have taught you in IO Psych. And uh, we have these five video lectures. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to give you a 15 item multiple choice quiz about the lecture material. Uh, and there's a pool of about 38 questions about these five videos. Each quiz will randomly assign fifth or randomly draw 15. Uh, questions from that pool and you'll have about I think 25 minutes to do the 15 questions. After it's done uh, you'll see what you got wrong. Blackboard will give you feedback on uh, how you could study to uh, get the question right and then you'll have up to five times uh, to take this quiz and uh, your highest score will be the one that will be recorded. And this quiz will be available for three weeks. So that's how we do this online. Uh, we have uh, two, uh, you know, IO site content uh, assignments or, you know, individual assignments. One is ONET. And ONET is the premier, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, database that we use uh, for job descriptions and work descriptions. And so we'll be doing a couple exercises with ONET so you have some experience with it. And then uh, resumes are important. And uh, we'll be doing another assignment where you submit your current resumes and then revise them. Uh, and then we're getting into uh, the middle of the ex uh, semester. Uh, the midterm exam is going to be a group assignment where you'll be working online with a group of st uh, students about eight or nine or ten and I'll give the group ten essay questions from chapters one through six and the groups will have to uh, decide which two they'd like to do and submit uh, their two answers for the group and this will be uh, you'll be working on this over a two-week period and then our final uh, you know topic assignment is identifying psycho psychometric information and this is another group assignment, and this is at the end of the semester. And I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, give you a, a psychomatch. Uh, I'm going to give you an article. Whoops, screwed up. And then finally, at the end of the semester, uh, you know, do it the last day of the semester is the identifying psychometric information assignment. Uh, this is another group assignment. Uh, students will identify a research article in IO psychology and research the psychometric properties of a measure used in the article. And the group will submit a brief report about the article, the measure, and its properties. And then finally, uh, there'll be an individual final exam, uh, which will have multiple choice questions. And it's going to be weighted a little bit heavier towards the uh, last part of the chap uh, the semester, chapters uh, 10 through 13, and uh, you know, weighted less towards the earlier part of the semester. So those are the assignments. Typical, typical for an online course is you'll see, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that we don't have really any big ticket items in terms of the grading. Uh, everything is going to be worth 5 or 10% of your grade, except the final ex exam. This is different than in-person courses where you have possibly like uh, several 25% exams. Uh, in an online course, everything is inc incremental. So we have to have things small. So we have these important assignments every couple of weeks to keep people moving in the course. 
And finally, uh, so you're in the course, you want to begin. Uh, here's what you do. I would suggest that you take a look at the syllabus. It's on the Start Here page, which you've probably found since you're here listening to this. And uh, take a look at that. Read about my policies about work, wait, uh, about late work, uh, and about you know, we read more about the other assignments. Uh, if you have any questions, please go to my online office hours discussion board and post them there. The idea there is if you have a question about it, probably other people do, and they've probably already asked it. So uh, I get to respond only once uh, and answer a lot of people's questions all at once. And if you feel ready, uh, please go ahead and take a look at week one, uh, working online the first week. Uh, we're not going to be doing much in terms of content of the course, but we are going to be going over some of the basic things about working online. What are the basic technology tools that we need to work online? Uh, what are the basic study skills that we need to do an online course? Uh, these are the things that we're going to be working on. And a blank slide, so that means the uh, lecture is over. So I will see you online and uh, take care and have a happy semester.